Okay guys, as you can see I got the heads on here already. Um, just wanted to note a couple of things. Obviously, um, before the heads go on, you want to lubricate the lifters with oil. You don't need to fill them up with oil. Um, it's a big thing when you're braking in the camshaft, you want it to, uh, I think the theory behind it is the, the lifter without having all the oil in it is not putting a lot of pressure on the camshaft until the oil can get up to the camshaft, splash around to give it some lubrication. Uh, that has to do with engine braking. Um, so like I said, just put a little assembly lube or uh, you know engine oil on the lifters when you put them in make sure you put the lifters in the right order this engine here is an MDS engine um, so if you're looking at the front of the engine the two MDS cylinders on the right bank or on the passenger side are the two middle cylinders and on the driver side the two MDS cylinders are the front and the rear so the, the special lifters are going to be in the rear most position here front mo most position here and the two middles essentially would be facing each other. So make sure you have that orientation correct. Uh, I don't know what will happen but everything says uh, you know severe engine damage will occur. Whether or not that's true I don't know. It probably most likely just set some sort of uh, service engine light. Uh, so once you have that all installed make sure your gasket surfaces on both the block and your cylinder heads are nice and clean. Now these are aluminum heads, so you don't want to use anything aggressive to clean those surfaces. Um, the block, I mean, you don't want to go nuts with, you know, crazy angle grinder or anything. I like to use like 3M, uh, almost like Scotch-Brite on a little disc, and they make a special 3M pad for aluminum. Sort of looks like a cup with fingers. It moves all the old gasket material and such. So once you got those all cleaned, wipe down your cylinders, all the dirt, debris, everything like that. Uh, always use new cylinder head bolts. These are torque to yield. Uh, and the small 10 millimeter bolts and the 15 millimeter bolts in the back use a different uh, torque. Um, but put a little oil on the threads, put a little oil in between the washer and the bolt head. Um, so you get more accurate torque. And then the bolts themselves sort of follow like a clockwise pattern. So if you started from the middle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way around. And the torque for that initially is 25 foot pounds. So go ahead and do uh, one through 10, 25. The tens on here get 15 foot pounds. Uh, same sort of scenario, one, two, three, you know, working your way from the inside out. Then on the out, on the one through ten bolts, those are going to go to 40. You're going to retorque the tens again after that to 15. And then finally, the one through ten, you're going to do an additional 90 degrees. Uh, what that means is, say your, your wrench is facing this direction, you want it 90 degrees from that point tight. You're going to do that one through ten. Uh, they do make a special uh, turning indicator. It's essentially a dial indicator, you know, with a pointer on it, so you know exactly what 90 degrees is. Um, you don't need it if you're very careful. You know, you, you you see where it is. You know, 90 degrees. Get it close. And then the final torque on these tens here is 25 foot-pounds. So once you have all those torqued, uh, it's on to the rocker arm and, and push rod. Um, make sure you put if you're if you're reassembling a head that didn't need to be rebuilt mine needed to be rebuilt I had a couple of bad valves so I have all new valves in here I have all new rocker arm assemblies that are going on this uh, at least for the intakes um, and push rods so make sure you put the push rods back where they came out of the same rocker assembly stay with each cylinder head don't mix them up um, and then once I go to put on the rocker assemblies, I'll go over uh, how to tighten those down because it's a big bar. Some of the valves are going to be opening. You don't want to torque them all down. You'll end up bending that bar. So you want to apply even uh, an even tightening sequence to get that rocker assembly down where it needs to be before you torque it up.
Okay guys, so I've got the driver's side valve train on uh, and I just wanted to point out a couple of things uh, before I proceeded to the other side. Uh, I just wanted to point out, like I said, there's a short push rod and then there's a long push rod. So the short push rod is for the intake valve train, the long push rod is for the exhaust. Also the rocker assembly on the intake side has an eye on it so you know this is the intake the other side the exhaust doesn't have anything um, but that's the exhaust side I replaced the intake on mine because the pad here which contacts the valve was actually badly pitted on the intake um, on both the valve itself and on the rocker arm so if you have a cam that is round like I did here, you know, the lobes were ground away. Do yourself a favor and check to make sure that these aren't pitted. There's no other wear. Um, fortunately, like I said, I had to replace a couple of intake valves that were hung open. Uh, they ended up getting so hot they cupped. They weren't making a seal, you know, long story short. Um, but the valve train itself on top was bad. So I went ahead and I bought two brand new uh, intake valve train assemblies. Um, so the only other thing I want to point out, like I said, when you put these on, there is a special tool that's supposed to hold the push rods where they belong, so it's a little tricky without that tool. you got to make sure they fall into the, the cup and the valve train before you tighten them down. And then like I said, you know, the engine is opening certain valves depending on where you are. The, now this one's still set at top dead center. Um, but when you tighten down these 10 millimeters, go even, use a wrench, don't use an air ratchet or anything to drive those down, otherwise you're gonna warp this. Um, you know, for instance, this valve here is starting to open. So this bolt here, I had to tighten down a little bit. Then I moved down, tightened these down a little bit and worked my way back and forth till it was all the way down. Once I have them all set, both sides, I'm gonna take the torque wrench and I'm gonna to torque these down to the specifications uh, in the manual. But I just wanna make sure you understand, tighten these down so this bar goes down nice and even. You know, some of the valves are open, some of the valves are closed. The closed ones obviously are gonna have less pressure on them. Well, realistically shouldn't have any pressure on them. Um, so, you know, just take your time, use a wrench, bring them down nice and easy. You don't wanna rip the threads out or anything. You don't wanna bend that bar. Uh, the only other thing, you know, make sure you put some kind of oil on these, uh, especially if you had to clean everything. You know, I have a brand new set here. The other one was cleaned, so there's no oil on anything. Um, you know, I, I put assembly lube on the push rod tops. I used engine oil on all the rockers. I tried to get as much as I can in there. Just take your time with this.